Sometimes I think, man, we really need superheroes in this life because of how messed up the world is. Well, there actually is a Spider-Man, courtesy of Fox News. Pro-life Spider-Man weaves his web climbing skyscrapers to protest abortion. So apparently, Spider-Man is real. He's just a forced birther. Uh, so Mason Des Champs scaled the 1,070-foot Salesforce, Salesforce Tower in early May. So there's an interview with him with Tucker Carlson, but let's just get some background as to who this person is. Mason DeChamps, 22, appears to be a mild-mannered finance student at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. However, on his days off, when he is not in class, he becomes a self-described pro-life Spider-Man to protest abortion. Okay, it's called forced birther Spider-Man, okay? You're not pro-life, you're a forced birther. But if you want to go by Spider-Man, I think that if you do things like this... You do get the moniker of Spider-Man. He even has a little spider shirt on. Um, although he doesn't have the red suit. I feel like you've got to go all out, right? If you're doing this, just go all out. So in May, days after the leak of the Supreme Court draft opinion on Roe v. Wade, he scaled the uh, over 1,000-foot Salesforce Tower in San Francisco. The champs has also scaled the New York Times building and the Renaissance Center Tower in Detroit. I'm sorry, I've just got to say off the bat, I don't know if you can adequately describe yourself as like pro-life when you're doing something that could get you killed. This is like a pro-death move, my dude. And doing things like this, I mean, I, I don't think that that screams pro-life to me. It seems like you are rolling the dice here. You're playing Russian roulette in a different environment. It just... <laughs> so he told Tucker Carlson, uh, these were all acts of protest against abortion. So rather than just like writing that you support forced birth on a piece of cardboard, he's literally scaling buildings and could die as a result of this. God, God. Uh, we are in a cultural battle right now. I started this project because I wanted to inspire young people to speak out against abortion, regardless of the backlash and the criticism that comes with being pro-life, he said. The champs told Tucker Carlson tonight... He wanted to raise money for Let Them Live, an organization that helps abortion-minded mothers financially and emotionally, according to its website. So we're going to watch the video here. But the reason why the story caught my attention was because uh, Kat Abu shared this five-second uh, clip. And it's just, it's beautiful. Not only does he look like a Peter Parker type, but uh, listen to what he says here. You know, I stopped trying to convince people that I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not really working because to do shit like this is very crazy. Listen, Medicare for all, it's one of my number one issues. Number one issues. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not going to scale a building. I'm not going to climb a building just to get Medicare for all. I feel like there are better ways to get the message across. And to his credit, it's working. He's on Fox News. So clearly he's getting people to pay attention. But this is you just putting your own safety at risk uh for a message quite frankly that's stupid and antiquated but nonetheless let's watch the tucker carlson interview so we can hear what quote pro-life i.e forced brother spider-man has to say Spike. Oop. investigation leaked the supreme court's draft opinion overturning roe v wade so there was varied response to this but here's one of the responses a day by the way let me know if that's too uh soft if you can't hear it that happened, a college student and pro-lifer called Maison Deschamps, apparently real name, decided to protest abortion in a pretty unusual, pretty remarkable way. He climbed the outside of the tallest building in San Francisco, the Salesforce Tower. It's 61 stories high. He climbed without using a rope. Here's footage. I can't believe you do this. Anyone have sweaty palms watching this? Ooh. All lives deserve a voice. Guys. <laughs> He's climbed several other skyscrapers after the Salesforce Tower. That would include the Devon Tower in Oklahoma City. 
in the New York Times building <laughs> in on, Manhattan. Imagine, imagine, and Poopy left me, so let me switch to solo. Um, imagine you're talking about the importance of life, and then you fall to your death. <laughs> I'm, I'm not like I don't want that to happen. Obviously, to be clear, uh, and I think it's kind of cool that he's calling himself Spider-Man and climbing buildings. But don't do this, people. Okay, don't do this. Please don't do this. It's not okay. You're you're gonna you're gonna kill yourself. You're gonna die. Please don't do this. Weird flex, but okay, Spidey. <laughs> Call him the pro-life Spider-Man. Maison de Champ joins us tonight. I I. Uh, <laughs> I'm embarrassed if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly. Um, tell us, but I'm just amazed by this whole thing. Tell us why you're doing this. We are, because he's a virgin. Because I wanted to inspire young people to speak out against abortion, regardless of the backlash and the criticism that comes with being pro-life. And I also wanted to raise money for Let Them Live to help these moms who are in a crisis pregnancy. I mean, you're seeing yes. states like California pay for abortions and there's never been a better time than now for us as pro-lifers to put our money where our mouths are and support letthemlive.org and these women who are in crisis. Well, of course. And I, I, it's hard to see why it's controversial to help pregnant women who want to have their babies. That's obviously a good thing. Um, so how, I mean, <laughs> what's it like? <laughs> I just, it's so bizarre that you would do this in the name of life when you're literally going to end up dying because of it. I just can't get over this. Um, so how, I mean, what's it like, I have to ask, being 61 stories above San I Francisco see it, with honestly. no rope? You know, it, it differs uh, person to person. For me, it's not that bad, but I, I wouldn't recommend anyone else go try it. <laughs> At least you're saying how this. How did you wind up climbing office building? I mean, it just looks like a like guaranteed death from my perspective. <laughs> Well, you know, I was inspired by a guy named Alain Robert, and I had no money, no influence. I, I'm in college, and I thought to myself, what can I do to help this pro-life movement? And, you know, all I had was the gifts God gave me. Incredible. So you climb How buildings? How do you learn to free climb a building? Do you just do it? Yeah, good question. Oh, well, you know, Tucker, if you want to come with me on the next one, I, I could show you Yes, how. take Tucker I'm with you, please. Man. <laughs> no. Um, <but laughs> yes, please I'm, take I'm Tucker. Impressed. Convince but him. But how do you, I mean, how do you train for this? And how hard is it? Uh, you, yeah, you know, I, I train on rock outside, uh, out here in Las Vegas at Red Rock Canyon and Yosemite National Park. And it transfers over pretty easily, surprisingly. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. And I have to ask, because it's irresistible, which is scarier, climbing a 61-story building with no ropes or admitting that you're pro-life in a group full of NPR listeners? You know, I think it's uh, scarier to go on Tucker Carlson than it is to, to oh, climb the skyscraper, on. personally. <laughs> Least hostile environment you'll ever find. Uh, and last question, is this illegal? I mean, I think, like, what happens when you get to the top? Yeah, you know, surprisingly in Detroit, there's a law that says you can't leash your pet alligator to a fire hydrant, but there's no law that says you can't climb the Renaissance Center. And so usually I'm arrested, but it's just to make an example out of me so there's no copycats, and uh, it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> I don't know anyone who would be brave enough to copy it. Incredible. Um, and, and I'm saying, pardon my, my bad English, tell us how to pronounce your name so I cannot forget it. It is Mason Deschamp. Mason Deshaun, great to see you tonight. Mason, yeah. thanks very much. Well, there you have it. He is the forced brother Spider-Man, and he's climbing buildings to make sure that women don't have bodily autonomy. Very brave, very brave. Listen, no cap, I do think that it is impressive what he does, um, but I think it's it's stupid. I mean, climbing a building, it, it accomplishes what he wants to accomplish for sure. But, again, this is something, as Tucker said, I can't believe I'm agreeing with Tucker Carlson, this is something that is going to guarantee death. I mean, you might be very skilled at it, but if you do this enough, you're going to slip up. Even people who are experts in their field, who are great at what they do from time to time, slip up. I mean, listen, I, I would like to consider myself a connoisseur of the Souls Born series. From time to time, I mess up. You know, I, I lose a boss battle. It's, it's rare, but it does happen. So even if you have skill, that doesn't necessarily guarantee success. So one of these days, he's going to be climbing a building 
screeching about how women shouldn't have bodily autonomy and he's going to slip. And I don't want to see that happen. I don't want to see that happen. Um, but I mean, if you're going to be a Spider-Man swagger jacker, at least do something cool. Like at least put on the suit and try to fight crime. I'd imagine it'd be like the movie Kick-Ass where you approach criminals and they like beat your ass. But still, at least you're trying. But look, regardless, I think it's interesting. And um, I would like for him to take Tucker Carlson to scale buildings. Uh, I think that that would be good. I would like to watch Tucker Carlson scale buildings. In fact, I would pay to see Tucker Carlson scale buildings. Um, so, yeah.